We have the Denver Food Rescue here tonight. Can I get some noise? Get some love. All right, I'm going to head off the stage and let you do your thing, okay? Awesome. (laughs) All right, so before I invite Amy from Denver Food Rescue up here, um, I just want to give you a little snippet about what the Nonprofit Spotlight is about. Um, So every month we like to highlight the good work being done in our communities because these people... These organizations deserve a shout out. They deserve some love. Um, so if you know a deserving nonprofit or individual, uh, send them our way because we'd love to talk to them. We'd love to interview them. We'd love to spotlight them. Um, so let, without further ado, let's give it up for Amy from Denver Food Rescue. <laughs> How's it going tonight? Good. Thanks for having me. Good. Thank you so much for being Very here. I I, I'm just really, really I wore, short. <laughs> I wore big heels. And I'm tall. I'm I sorry. should I should take a note. Um, awesome. So, <laughs> so tell us about what is Denver Food Rescue. Yeah. So we are a nonprofit, obviously, um, working in Denver that has a mission to increase health equity in low-income neighborhoods by utilizing produce that would otherwise be thrown away from grocery stores and farmers markets. And we take it directly, and this is perfectly edible, beautiful produce. Um, I'm sure you've heard the statistic that about 30 to 50%, we don't really know exactly, of our food farm to table in the United States um, and in the UK is thrown away. So we're also throwing away water and oil and all these things, right? And there's people, like one in six Coloradoans that are hungry, one in five um, youth that are food insecure. So we utilize this produce that is perfectly good to eat and take it directly to food desert neighborhoods. And we do this model because when DFR was figuring out what what we were doing, um, we mapped where food deserts were, and this is um, communities that are at least a mile away from a full service grocery store, and then they're often surrounded by fast food and uh, convenience stores as well, which don't have very good nutritious food. Um, and we found that these food deserts don't actually have traditional food banks located in them, so we thought, well, why don't we take the food directly to them? So we partner directly with um, community organizations that already have established trust in the community, and our programs are resident-led as well. So we have volunteers um, that 70% 70 of the time use bikes and bike trailers uh, to take the food, and we're talking like sometimes up to 1,000 pounds a week, like, um, but we do have shifts every day, but this is happening every day in America where we're throwing away just hundreds and hundreds of thousands of pounds um, of food. And so our volunteers take it, they just drop it off, and then the residents there of the community that we're working in set it up and um, community members can access it for no cost, market style, and then take it home within the same hours um, as that food was like bound to be sent to the landfill. Instead, it's going to someone's table. So. That's what we're about. That is fantastic. Not only innovative, but sustainable and creative and really like helps build those quads when you're biking with a thousand pounds. It's great exercise. (laughs) Awesome. So what, where can people go to find out more? Yeah, well, definitely Facebook and Twitter, (laughs) right? And our website. Um, You can, there's so many different ways to to help out if you're interested. Obviously volunteers, you don't have to use a bike if you don't want to. Um, We we can supply a bike or you can use your own. Volunteers use their cars as well. Um, But we also have uh, obviously different support that you can give us. And we have a a bike ride in August in Cherry Creek State Park. If you wanna do a really casual, easy 15 or 30 mile ride, um, dress as your favorite fruit or vegetable, which is pretty fun. This is good, yeah, that got, that got cool last year. This is gonna be our second annual, and this is what we do instead of having a gala or a dinner. So, you know, we wanna be outside, and we wanna be riding our bikes. So if you wanna get your friends together and do that ride, it's uh, the second Saturday in August. Um, if you wanna volunteer, maybe you run a grocery store and you wanna find out how you can get some of this produce um, directly to people that want it and need it. So, yeah. That's amazing. Thank you so much for the work you guys are doing. Yeah. Thank you for having um, me. Yeah, and I know that we have we have a video to play, right? Could you oh, give yeah. us a little intro to that? Sure, so this will we use this as a way to try to get volunteers. Um, it kind of just is a look into what it's like to do a shift um, for, for DFR. So, yeah. Here awesome, let's <laughs> roll it. <laughs> Right now, in Denver, Colorado, your zip code impacts what you eat. 
the city's lowest income neighborhoods lack full service grocery stores. This means families in these areas have less access to healthy, fresh foods and higher rates of diet-related illness. What it's given us is an outlet for food that would usually end up in a dumpster, a trash can of no need, of no value. And it's put it in the hands of people that could welcome it, enjoy it, and have a healthy choice. Meanwhile, almost 40% of food produced for humans is wasted. Residents of these neighborhoods are getting organized, demanding better access to fresh produce and healthier lives. Denver Food Rescue is here to support these neighborhoods in their efforts. Every day, we pick up fresh produce that would otherwise be thrown away from grocers, wholesalers, and farmers markets all over the city and deliver it immediately, directly, to community-based organizations working to make their neighborhoods healthier. To go where others cannot, to keep our footprint small, and to have the most fun, we do this on our bikes. If I could say anything to the volunteers at Denver Food Rescue, I would say thank you so much. You have no idea what an impact you're making on the families in Denver. We need you to join us. And in less than 45 minutes, you can deliver beautiful food destined to be thrown out directly to a family with barriers to fresh produce. The most meaningful part of volunteering with Denver Food Rescue for me is feeling like part of the solution to some problems that need solving. This is The Cyclist Way to make Denver a healthier and more equitable city. And this is The Cyclist Way to volunteer.